in the process of evolving life, when I say in the process of evolving life, I'm not talking about how to make monkeys into human beings. I'm talking about how to make human beings into better human beings. Better, not just physically, better, not just mentally, but as a life, a better life. Oh, is one life better than the other? This is a difficult thing, but if you closely observe one life to another, you will see how one life functions, not in terms of social actions, not in terms of capability and competence, simply how life functions within the system is different from person to person. The system of yoga is seeing how to make this life function at its highest. People think highest means, will I be the most successful person on the planet? Will I run hundred meters in so many seconds? <laughs> Better does not mean that, better simply means as a piece of life, it is better. There is no context to speak about this dimension in normal parlance or in English language particularly, there is no way to say it because life is all same. Yes, life is all same, but it can function better if you allow it it will function better. If you do not allow it, it will not function as well. Whether we like it or we don't like it, that's how it is. <laughs> One, the same… you must see there's a beautiful example in the Spandahal garden. We planted two uh, Nagalingam trees. One, we've taken care of them equally well. One has grown and flowered, other is always struggling. There are different reasons for that, but it's like this. In the same home, two children are born. One just flourishes within himself, another struggles all the way. Because for life to happen, it needs a conducive atmosphere. Creating that conducive atmosphere and allowing life to happen better, this time of the year has maximum possibility in this direction. You know about, definitely you know about the story of Bhishma waiting to cross this Dakshinayana to Uttarayana before he left his body because he wants to be out of this pool to the south. South is called… down is called south. So if it is pulling down, the Mooladhara will be strongest, the preservative aspect will be strongest. He does not want to leave at that time. He wants the sun to move away to a place where there is an upward pull to his body. There is an upward, upward pull to his being so that he can ascend in a proper way. The Margali is significant for a spiritual seeker because it brings a natural sense of stability into the system particularly those who are suffering from any kind of ailments, particularly psychological imbalances, this is a good time to balance because the sun's energy and the sun's gravity is pulling downward, one can stabilize themselves. Stability before the upward pull happens is most important. If you're pulled upward and you're not stable within yourself, it will lead to imbalances. So, this is called a sadhana pada and this is the peak of sadhana, that if you do the necessary sadhana at this time, generally, traditionally, people don't want to miss the Brahma Muhurtam in this month, that is at 3.40, they're all up and there are various processes to keep in touch with water. There are many systems and many cultural practices and yogic practices to keep in touch with water because water is the largest element within you and water is one thing that could slosh. <laughs> if your waters are not proper, it will cause imbalance in the system. In the yogic system, 
if there is a psychological imbalance, it is always seen as water element going out of control. Because if you have a tank full of water and shake it, it will slosh. If you have a tank full of sand or mud, it will not slosh the same way. So, the water element is what causes various levels of imbalance in a person if the right kind of things are not done with it. So, traditionally the various practices to be in touch with water. One of the simplest thing is people always went into temple ponds at 3.40 in the morning to take a dip, it would be good. Uh, we should… we should keep our tirthakund open early. <laughs> This month, from 16th to 13th or 14th of January, we must keep it open very early. Those who want to make use of it can make use of it. Bringing stability to the waters within is one big step towards bringing psychological balance. Only when there is psychological balance and physiological balance and energy balance will you dare to climb. Otherwise, a little one step, if sh everything shakes inside of you, you will only step backwards. There are any number of spiritual seekers who are constantly one step forward, one step backward, one step forward, one step backward, because the moment to s they take a forward step, they will notice imbalance and they will come back. This is happening to too many people because not enough sadhana towards stabilizing themselves, this particular month offers a, a phenomenal opportunity to stabilize oneself because of the way the relationship between the sun and the earth is such that it creates maximum stability. Stability also means inertia. It's not mobile, it is stable. So it causes a certain level of inertia and also stability. So this month is used for stability and the next month the thai is used for mobility. If you have created enough stability within you, then only you would dare to be mobile. Only if you're riding a bicycle, only if you're well balanced, will you dare to move, otherwise you will sit on a bicycle with the stand on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's how life is happening for a lot of people. Because of the fear of instability, they sit on a bicycle with the stand on, you can pedal, you can get some exercise, but you're not going anywhere. So Marguli is a blessed month which is used for various processes. Across the Shiva temples in the south, there are various events happening. On 16th, 17th, 18th of this month, the one important step is the Arudra pujas that happen. Rudra means a roarer, somebody who… who is very effervescent, more than effervescent, a roar. Arudra means stable, not roaring kind, just absolutely stable. Arudra also suggests a certain inertia, because Rudra suggests movement and creation. Arudra suggests no movement and a certain inertia. There is inertia, there is enormous inertia in this part of the year, but the wise should make use of whatever there is and we need a certain level of inertia to bring stability. When you want to bring stability, the thing is to slow down. If you lose balance, the first thing is to slow down. <laughs> so this is a time when everything slows down and people want to make use of it. And that is why this Margali has become significant in… in a spiritual seeker's life. 